What's up, family? My name is Erin McCluskey. I'm an executive coach. I work with leaders on redefining their individual definitions of success, both personally and professionally, also working on connecting wellness and performance, and specifically how to prioritize self-care in the workplace and how to articulate prioritization of self-care in the workplace. Believe it or not, it's a whole other language. So welcome to Mini Bites session 67. Today's topic is you are ready. And before I dive into that, uh, another shameless plug, Cla enrollment is open for the fall certification course, the redefining success course in mindset and performance. And if you register before August 30th, you receive a discount, sign up today, go to my website, www.erinjewelcoaching.com. There are many aspects, uh, not only a 12 hours of amazing, amazing, amazing curriculum around mindset and performance that has taken, taken almost 20 years for me to uh, finally pull together and be able to put together in a, a curriculum. But there also is a VIP wellness day scheduled during this 12 week period as well as access to my online workbook, Redefining Success, which hasn't been fully launched yet. So you will be one of the uh, first uh, readers in, in, of the workbook. So it's definitely a very exciting time for a lot of reasons. So please do visit my website today. If you would like a copy of the syllabus, you can absolutely request that as well to get a little more information about what we will cover during the 12 weeks of classes. Uh, which are online by the way so no matter where you are you can um, certainly register so all right mini bites section session 67 and you are ready you are ready my friends if there is something happening in your life today or there is a question that you have about moving forward in some area of your life i'm here to tell you yes do it you are ready there is a lot of opportunity to make excuses about why we should or should not move forward in a particular way. And I just use the word should. And little side note, whenever you use the word should, have to, need to, it's a really good chance to check in because it generally means you're trying to insert your own will into something, which generally ends up being a really bad idea. So, taking the word should out if there's an area in your life where you feel like you want to move forward it could be anything you're going through some type of a transition right now perhaps you've been at a company for a long time and you have felt comfortable in your position in that company for some time and it's leading to some complacency which uh, those of you who have worked with me know that complacency is a very dangerous place to find yourself um, we can actually start justifying unhealthy behaviors and other manifestations when we find ourselves too comfortable for too long. And so if you, that's one, one situation where you find yourself in a job for a long period of time and you haven't really made any changes, or perhaps you find yourself in a situation where you've just been promoted or you're about to be promoted and you're feeling hesitant, maybe suffering a little bit from what is known as imposter syndrome. If you haven't looked into that yet and you're feeling like a fraud in whatever area of life you find yourself right now, I invite you to Google that word. It is a thing. There have been many articles published on it. Harvard Business Review has done multiple publications on imposter syndrome. So perhaps you're moving into a promoted opportunity with the same company. Perhaps you're receiving a promotion, moving into a different company and you're feeling apprehensive. You're not feeling enough or perhaps you have been running a business for a period of time and you're interested in making a change or perhaps you stepped out of the workforce to raise children uh, or perhaps you are going through um, a new marriage or a divorce uh, perhaps you've become the caregiver primary caregiver secondary caregiver uh, tertiary caregiver for someone in your family and or someone that you're very close with or perhaps I could go on and on and on. Let's face it, we are all pretty much in transition all the time. The very cliched quote, the only constant is, is change, is in effect today. And so every time something changes, 
the opportunity for self-doubt and fear shows up just sort of magically every time something shifts or is about to shift it's a funny thing how that happens all of a sudden questions oh i really wanted this thing i was so excited about this thing and now it's actually happening and i'm not sure if i'm good enough can i really do this am i ready should i accept it yeah so fear not fret not you are absolutely not alone if you are feeling that today and the answer to all of those questions even if some of the questions you have i haven't mentioned during our time together the answer is yes you're ready because guess what you're not ready and guess what i'm not ready guess what none of us are really ready none of us are really ever ready to, to have kids none of us are really ever ready to step into a new role none of us are ever really ready to join a new company i ran my first 50k <clears throat> i completed my first 50k uh several weeks back and one of the main questions that I got from uh, people about that experience was, did you train well enough for it? And I, in particular, definitely undertrained for this particular 50K, which is another story, but I will say this, there is nothing at all that I could have done to effectively prepare for what happened that day. The elements, the weather, the, the changes in altitude that I was not able to mirror in my local environment let me tell you, there was nothing I could have done to ever have been fully prepared for what was going to happen. The dynamic between myself and the people that I was running with would not have been able to prepare for it. And if you would have asked me, did I feel ready the night before the race? My answer would have been no. Did I still do it? Yes. Was it one of the coolest things I've ever done in my entire life? Yes. Have I done a lot of really amazing, cool things during this life experience, not feeling ready? Absolutely. So to wrap it up, if you're contemplating making a change, if you're about to step into something new and you don't feel ready, I'm here to tell you that you are. I love you until the next time.